Here are three useful tips when working with case structures in NetView. First, if you are dealing with string input for the case selector, remember that it is case sensitive by default. That means, these two start strings are not the same. To prevent this, right click the case structure and select case insensitive match. Notice the marking that appears at the bottom right corner. Second, if you have an input to the case structure that you would like to use for the case selector, just right click on the tunnel and select replace with case selector. Here, the case selector was originally boolean but we switched it to a 32 bit integer. Notice that the case names have also changed automatically as well. Third, to resize the case structure quickly, use the following shortcut. To expand, press and hold the control key and then click and drag your left mouse button. Then, to shrink the size, press and hold the alternate key at the same time as well. This will also work with other structures like loops and sequence structures. Hope this is helpful. Look out for more tips in our next video.